Yo, what's up? Hello, people. My name is Clark Asario from Real Dojo, and welcome to another epic tutorial. I'm your sensei for today, and and today we're just gonna talk about Chaos Fracture and also help you fix the issue where you're not able to render your Chaos system. Watch till the end. I'm just gonna share a cute bonus tip which will help you improve your chaos system. All right, so if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. I noticed that a lot of you are not subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel to support and also click on the bell notification and get notified whenever I post new tutorials. Let's get straight into this tutorial. All right, getting straight into the tutorial. What I'm gonna do, I have a tower here, which I'm gonna use for the chaos. I've actually already showed you guys how to do the chaos fracture in my previous tutorial but i'm just gonna rush through this um just to get things faster all right so i have this tower here i'm gonna break this so i'll go to my fracture create a new chaos um now just put it in the chaos um folder yeah i'm just gonna underscore a tower tower and just so what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use the uniform and i'm going to break this into about 600 okay 600 by 600 for the minimum and the maximum uh, maximum maybe uh, 900 okay so just going to fracture awesome so i have this for my fracture next thing i'm gonna do is to click on the the chaos fracture type color to turn the soft just to get the material back all right so the next thing i'm gonna do is to add my magnitude i'm just gonna search for maybe bomb click all right click um just go into the folder. So it's actually in, in engine, content, editor resources, and um, field notes. And you find this here. I'm going to use the master field. Uh, just bring it here. Scale it a little bit just to get what I need. So the magnitude is actually responsible for like breaking this into pieces, into direction and all those kind of stuff. Yeah, so going to have this here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my anchor field. So the anchor field, use its, its use case is to prevent some some parts of the building from breaking you get my point so in where the meshes like meet with this field i'm actually tell, telling the chaos that hey i don't want the I, I don't want this part to be broken or something yeah i don't want it to be broken so leave this part intact all right so next thing that you need to do is to go into the tower that is your chaos and look for initialization fields which i'm going to put my fields in there so i'll add my anchor field and i'm um, gonna add another one for the magnitude or the master field so yeah this is what i have if i click simulate poof awesome right so um what i'm gonna do is to bring this a little bit lower yeah and then try it again awesome so let's play around with the with the master field i want this to be maybe around 900 and um, i want it to be directional so directional vector so um it's actually going to shoot up instead of just you know a settled so let's play Awesome, right?
Iya. All right, so what we need to do in order to add it to sequencer is to cache this. Actually, I need to record it. So you record by using the cache manager, um, the chaos cache manager. So you go to actor, go to chaos and um, create cache manager. Um, first, what I need to do, let's delete this. This is very important, mostly. The most important thing that you need to do is to select the tower that contains the chaos um, fracture and you go to actor and you create your cache manager. If you do without clicking it, you have to add it to the cache manager. So when I create it, I'm going to put it on in tower chaos and I'm just going to tower cache manager. All right, so I have it here. What I need to do is to go to my cache manager. Yeah, I need to go to my cache manager, which has my tower cache manager in there. It needs to be on record time and start time. You could, you could delay it a little bit, but I want it at zero. So what you need to do is to click simulate. I'm going to leave it for some time for it to settle. Then I close it up. So it's actually recorded in here. All I need to do to check if it's there is to go to play. Then in my start time, I could play through. Awesome, right? So I could decide to like, hey, I don't want my um, master field no more. Let's try this up and I go to my cash manager and I can just uh, scrub through. It's actually stored in a cache. All right. So what I'm going to do next is to put it into sequencer. I'm going to call it chaos and um, select my manager, the chaos manager. And I'll just put it in here, then add my start time. Also add the cache collection. This is important because I've had um, more like requests in my comments saying that, hey, I'm not able to render my animations. And this is mostly the reason why. And you also need to use your start time instead of just using the play time or the chaos cache just use the start time and you need to set it from play to static pose and you'll be able to render it so um i'm just gonna key this in because i'm using the start time i need to um key this in so um i'll go to the last room that's 150 and then try having this in there and boom now i could play through uh, let me try increasing this to about um 200 yeah there uh, just to slow it down a little bit all right All right, so I have this. And let me add a camera here. I'm gonna set this to 28 and pull it around here. So I'm gonna have something like this. Okay, so let me see. Just wanna put it around here. Set a key around here. I just want it to happen early. So early. All right. So I have it in there. All done. All I need to do is to render. So I have an anti alias in here. Um, JPEG, deferred rendering, output, set your output in here. 
you're done, then we just render. So if we see it breaking in the shot, that means that if you render, you're going to have your break. And now you see it's all rendered up and it's working fine. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel and um, also click on the bell notification in order to get notified whenever I'm posting new tutorials. I've noticed most of you have not subscribed to the channel. So please support the channel and subscribe. All right. So see you on the next one clockwise.